I am Gina Kaufman, and I am a director, and I also teach at UMass Amherst. I teach acting and directing. I have an MFA directing program, and I also work with Shakespeare and Company quite a bit. Before I came here, um, Todd had talked to me about the program and about trying to create a an MFA in playwriting program that works with a whole different um, community of students than a traditional three-year um, full-time except for summers type of program. In a way, it's the opposite and it works with people who have some kind of career going, whether it's in theater or otherwise. But that also means, as I understand it, or understood it from Todd, that there was work being done during the rest of the year, there would have to be, so that coming here, you're delving into that um, intense kind of workshopping and classroom experience, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the year is a, away from playwriting, but that's always has to be a part of your lives for those four, five, or possibly three years that you're here in the program. Yeah, I, th I think mostly it's worked out really well. There are times when I think um, we're just kind of putting our thoughts together because there's a lot to process and getting the conversation going. I've actually been impressed that we've, act that we've been able to have really fruitful feedback even to the point of it being feeling like a real conversation in the time that we have allotted, that's impressive. And I feel like the everyone, the playwrights, the guests, the um, people who are just here for other reasons, all seem to respect um, the work and that they're giving feedback in order to support or to be truthful. Support doesn't have to mean you love it. Support can mean um, I want you to see what my experience, I want you to understand what my experience is. Um, and I think that's really important too, that support takes many forms. And I've appreciated that the perspectives that people have are um, often commenting on each other, sometimes at odds with each other. There seems to be a strong comfort level with being at odds with each other. Um, I think that's actually really important because nobody experiences a piece in the same way, no two people. Let me just say that in terms of allowing someone to read a script mm -hmm. in a way that makes a director feel like, ah, this is going to be a collaboration that I can get into, I've seen at times with these readings that the stage directions in various ways get in the playwright's way. Um, so, that, so that it feels like the stage directions are trying to direct or control so then the director may feel like you're not seeing it as you, the playwright, are not seeing your work as actual work for the theater because if the stage directors help and support the storytelling, great. But if they are telling you how a character feels, um, how you should um, make a certain effect happen, trust that if you say you want an image of the sun rising, or the petals falling, or whatever it may be, that the director and designers will collaborate to figure out what, why that's there and how to make that happen, as opposed to you needing to control the how of that. Um, it helps the director want to direct something. You're not, you're not, you know, doing this to it. You're, you're saying, here's my work, here's my heart, um, and they're going to take it. And they're going to hopefully respect that what you've given it, but also they've got their vision. There's a reason that they're individual human beings too, working on this. The actors and directors, designers, etc. So.